The Centurion, or Kenturian, if you want to say it like a weirdo with a questionably motivated interest in ancient Terran history, is one of the most common and, up until the dawn of the 31st century, most effective workhorse battle mechs in the Inner Sphere. First introduced at the dawn of the 29th century, the Centurion lives up to its namesake in that it bears a strong resemblance to the old Terran warriors, not only in its quite capable combat abilities, but its appearance as it has a distinctly humanoid frame, mohawk-like crest, and has an optional but frequently mounted shield affixed to its left forearm. Its mass of 50 tons puts it solidly into the medium weight class of battle mechs. With this mech standard loadout operating at speeds on par with an average heavy mech, typically 64 kilometers per hour, the Centurion is not terribly fast, but is quite capable at handling its own, if fielded wisely. Critics of the Centurion consider the mech as a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Hence the advice to use this battle mech prudently, lest a more dedicated machine outmatch it in a particular niche role. Its stock loadout, the CN9-A, bears a Luxor D Class 10 autocannon with 20 rounds of ammunition, a pair of Fotec medium-powered free electron lasers, and a Luxor long-range missile launcher with 10 launch tubes and 24 loads of ammunition. Curiously, of these two medium lasers, one is mounted to the rear torso of the battle mech in the default factory configuration. While this is useful in many situations, most mech commanders order their techs to affix both lasers forwards in order to dissuade both showing the vulnerable rear of the mech to the enemy, as well as any attempts to retreat from the battlefield early. For armor, the CN9-A is protected by 8.5 tons of standard plating. The CN9-A is capable of reaching speeds of up to 64 km per hour thanks to its standard Nissan 200 rated engine. The CN9-AL is similar to the A variant in most regards, save for its replacement of the right arm's autocannon with a pair of lasers, one with a large emitter and one small. The extra weight left over from this modification has allowed six additional heat sinks to be added, as well as an additional two and a half tons of armor plating. In addition to these common variants, there is also a certain configuration that has become legendary after being inspired by a champion, Justin Millard, who fought in the Solaris games on the world of Solaris 7. This battle mech was outfitted with a rather massive Class 20 autocannon, and a gigantic mech-sized hatchet in the arms, retaining only the chest-mounted medium lasers from its original form. Due to its deadly arsenal, the customized Centurion was named Yen Lo One, after the Taoist god of death and judgment. Justin Allard's mech was passed on to his son Kai Allard Liao when he came of age. There are many copycats for this variation, but you'll know if you encounter the true Yen Lo One. You'll know. As an additional note, it should be stated that the Centurion was designed to complement the 50-ton trebuchet, a fire support slash artillery mech. As the ravages of the succession wars have made consistently acquiring certain machines difficult, it is of little surprise that this pairing has become infrequent and that the Centurion has been forced to adopt new roles to compensate for this reality. Thanks for listening, folks, and don't forget to watch the Solaris games on tonight. Or was it yesterday? Uh, I don't know. I don't follow sports.